All right, so welcome to the second video. And I don't want to talk too much. Let's try to actually start doing things. And uh, as we go move on, I'll explain the different element of that game structures, okay? So the first thing, the basic thing that you need to do is that how do you draw on a, in a game? So and since we're using JavaScript, we're going to use what we call Canvas, okay? So what are canvases? Canvases, you can define, what we're gonna talk about is that how do you define canvases? We're gonna talk about the computer coordinates and then how we're gonna draw it uh, on a canvas. What is a canvas and how to create it? A canvas is uh, nothing but uh, like an area in your browser where you can actually draw on it. It's a graphic area, all right? Now, the way you create it in HTML5, you can go into, you just use the tag, canvas, you specify the width and the height, and then you give it an ID. The ID here is an important. Now, if you don't, you're not familiar with HTML, you need to refresh your uh, memory or you need to learn the basics of HTML. We're not gonna do a lot of HTML, but you need to learn the basics of HTML. The other part, it would be good to have some background in JavaScript or any programming language, okay, uh, to, un to understand what we're going to do, all right? So if, you're, if this is your first programming course, I don't recommend that you get into it. So you might learn a little bit of programming and then come back here, okay? So this is how you create the canvas. Now, what do you do with this canvas? This is in the HTML. In the JavaScript, uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the computer coordinate, you need to be familiar with this system. It is a little bit different than, for example, math coordinates or graphs that you've used before in math. Computer system work like this. If you draw, this is, if you imagine this is your canvas or the screen you're working with, usually the coordinates are upper left corner, start with zero, zero. And what happens after that, you actually uh, can, uh, that screen has a width. So this corner is, is usually the width and zero for the height. This corner is width and height coordinates. This corner is zero and height. It's important that you, are, you know these, why? Because when you're moving things on the screen, you need to know what directions you go to. For example, if I move this way, I'm usually increasing X, okay? If I'm moving this way, I'm usually increasing Y. If I am moving this way, I am increasing both. Or it doesn't matter, but you're moving in any direction other than vertical or horizontal, you're moving X and Y, all right? And then if you go backward, usually you are decreasing x and then if you're moving upward usually decreasing y all right so it's important remember the screen it's important to understand these coordinate system the other part is that when you're drawing things on the screen you need to usually give it um, similar coordinating you need to give it the starting point which is x and y and the width and the height the x and y is this part right here this is the part of x and y Okay, and the uh, just so this is your this is your uh, this is your x and y, and then the width is this, and then the height is this. All right, in most cases, this is what you're dealing with. Okay, so that is important screen to remember. All right, so how do we draw on a canvas? The first thing you do is that you need to use JavaScript, and we're gonna do an example in a minute. So what happens is that you use, you, uh, sorry, you, 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 you get a reference to the canvas object by using document, get element by ID, and that is the same ID that you saw here. Let me show you, that is the same ID. So whatever ID you use here, you use in get, getting reference to that canvas. The second thing that you do, you get the context area or the context of the canvas, which allow you to use methods and attributes to draw on that canvas. In this case, we're using 2D. You can use 3D too. Uh, <coughs> after that, you usually pick your color, whatever fill stroke, you, fill style you want. 
and simply you can start drawing. In this example, I'm drawing, uh, I'm filling a rectangle, the whole canvas, zero, zero, the upper left corner, and then a canvas has an attribute called width, and it, it has an attribute called height. Now these are important because uh, a lot of times you don't want to deal with hard, you know, hard coding these values. You want to use whatever canvas size you're using. It could be changed. So that way you can use the you can use these two values here: the canvas width and the canvas height. You change your color, and then you draw and uh, and uh, you draw on your screen. In this case, I'm using two variables x int and y int, and the width of the rectangle I'm drawing is 50. What else can you draw on the screen and on the canvas? You can draw lines. Drawing lines are a little bit different. You draw, you move to a particular point, then you draw a line from that point to this point, and then you stroke it. You draw the, the you actually paint that line. Same thing with the circle. You begin a path, you're using arcs here. You use the X and Y, the coordinates, the radius, how big you want your circle to be, and the degree. And then here you use, you use the two math pi is for the whole arc, okay? That's the parameter of a circle. Uh, you use this, uh, you select your color, and then you fill your circle. The last thing that you can do in here is that you're drawing images. In an image, you create an image reference, an object, we call it. You tell it what is the image name, okay, if it is in the same folder. And then you just simply draw that image. And then you can specify how big you want this image, the X and Y, all right? So that is all we're going to cover. In the next uh, video, I'll show you how we actually practice it, okay? So, but this is important to understand the basics of graphics in computer systems in order to create a game later on. I'm going to stop here, and in the next video, we will actually practice it.